Hi, it's the 14th of February 2015 and I just watched Project Almanac and boom, it just opened up my mind, you know what I mean? It just like gave me such ideas that really could change my life, change the lives of people around me, change the lives of people that watch this video, right? I'm going to try to put it into words, put it into like sentences which can come out of my mouth and tell people what I'm trying to think. Okay, let me think, let me think, let me think, okay. See, we are humans and we are capable of many great things, right? I mean, you want to write a book, you write the book. If you want to create a time machine, you create the time machine, right? I mean, it's all in the head, okay? So eventually, everything is all up to you, right? I mean, how far you want to go, it's all up to you, right? You want to go to outer space, you can go to outer space. You can do anything you set your mind to, right? So what I'm trying to say is I can write that beeping book, okay? The beeping book, right? I mean, I got all these ideas, I got these dreams, and I think it can be materialized in this book, right? It means that I can create a life of abundance, a life of love, and a life, a great life for myself. I mean, I am human. I People put ceilings above your head, right? I don't have a ceiling. I don't. Because I know that my limit is outer space and outer space has no limits. So in fact, I have no ceiling. If you were to put it that way. I have no ceiling above me. I can go wherever I want. I can fly. I can swing around like Spider-Man. I can do anything I want, right? So what I'm trying to say is that what you think, you can do. If okay, this year I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna probably fail at a lot of things, but it doesn't mean that I'm gonna be failing all my life, right? I mean, there are people that they fail once, they fail twice, and they say, "Eh, I can't do this." Have you heard about the story about this elephant? The elephants, the little elephants, okay? They tie their little feet to the pole, and they pull, they pull, they pull. They can't get out. They can't move, right? They can't move because they're tied to the pole. So when they're big, when they're big, like really adult, they think that they can't get out of that, that place because that, that pole, that little pole is pulling, it's like holding them back, right? But the thing is, they have so much strength that they can just pull it out and run away. But the thing is, they've been programmed since they're a little kid that they can't move because of their little, little pole. You know what I mean? So they're, when they're little, they have a small little pole, they can't move, but when they're big, they can move. But because of their past experience, they can't, they don't, they don't even try, right? All I'm trying to say is, if we keep on trying and trying and trying, something will happen. And I mean, I mean, I, I can't build a rocket. I mean, I can't, I can't be a, I can't be like Stephen Hawking, or I can't be like, maybe I can't be like Bill Gates, I can't be like Richard Branson, but hey, I'm me, right? I can be me. So whatever happens to me, it's all up to me. Because eventually, I mean, it's all up to me to make things happen. And whether I fail or I succeed, it doesn't matter. Because, I mean, if I try hard enough, if I just push through all these failures, eventually I will probably make it. And success will be sweet. And I wish and I pray that I can persevere and power through all these failures and somehow maybe get a book published or something, I don't know, but I mean, that's a dream. I mean, love, I, I don't really want to talk about love, really, because love is just, uh, I just don't want to think about it. I just really don't want to think about that love, okay? So whatever it is, I need to, I need to start sitting in front of my computer and start typing, right? I, I don't know what I'm going to type, but I'm just going to try to get something out of my head and probably read some books and probably read how to how to put together a story, like tree act structure, uh, the plot, the theme, the subplot, whatever it is. I have to get it together and somehow program my mind in order for me to write something of quality, right? It's four, four minutes, 42 seconds already. I watched uh, Triumph in Disguise and it's a good movie. It's an uh, awesome like Cantonese type of movie. But the thing is, I mean, I don't know how movies are made these days actually. They, there's, 
it's just all over the place, you know. When sometimes you're here, sometimes you're there, you say it's all over the place. So I, I I guess that's how movies Chinese movies are nowadays. But it was good. Yeah. It says it 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 uh taught me about being sad is not good. Uh if you're sad, you eat, you you eat, you become fat, and when you're fat, you go exercise, and when you exercise, you have endorphins, and that's good. Yeah, that's what it said. Okay, so uh, that's all for this time. Uh, thank you for watching. I think uh, this is a really great day today. Today is the 14th of February, 2015. I watched Project Almanac, and it just, boom, it just totally uh, gave me this epiphany, epiphany, and I hope that somehow this epiphany would translate into something great. Something that will give me power to be whatever I want to be. Peace.